To begin this demonstration, we're going to start by creating some basic reports against a finance cube designed with Microsoft All App. We start by looking at accounting values across an accounting structure. And the first set of accounts that we're going to look at are those related to the PL, the profit and loss statement. By expanding out the net income tree, we can see the entire income statement. Changing to an accounting grid, of course, is a slightly more appropriate format. And we'll invert the hierarchy so that the grouping or totals per account are shown underneath all the details which will appear above. Last but not least, we will chop up our accounting statement by quarter. So it's now a quarterly set of numbers. And of course, it's for all quarters. Later, when we run the report, we will refine it to only show it for a particular year. And we save our PNL report. Let's repeat the same process again, this time looking at the cash flow structure. And you can see we're now seeing the cash flow details by quarter. And again, we will save this now as the cash flow report. And last but not least, we are going to build the same structure for our balance sheet. So now that we have our three generic reports um, built against the accounting information, we'll begin a publication and start bringing the reports onto the page. Start with the PL, where we lay it out and place it on the screen in anticipation of how it will look when it runs in production. Repeat the same process again now for a cash flow statement. Cash flows generally are less detailed, so they take up less space. And last but not least, we'll finish our template here with the balance sheet report. Next, we're going to add some slices, which will allow us to pick which data runs for each report as it is rendered in the publication engine. We start by picking the year, because we only want to look at one year at a time. We apply those year slice to each report, and we will do the same thing for the department, such that each report where it runs will run for a particular year and a particular department. We will now apply some general formatting using the master content template editor. And here we're going to add some text elements to the top of each page, uh, which will include what are called placeholders, which are ways of injecting the selected elements from each slice here. So that way we will see the year and the department at the top of each page when it runs. Next stage is to add some text boxes above each report which contain the headings. These are static. So on top of our profit and loss, we will add a simple heading profit and loss and use the style sheet editor uh, to pick our standardized heading and we'll do that for all three reports. In the next phase we're going to add some dynamic text to generate notes for each report and this is a somewhat simplistic example but it is a good example of the kinds of things that one can include in your report automatically. We're simply going to represent capital expenditures and net income based on the total report that is rendered at um, publication time. To do that, we start by opening up the cash flow statement grid and we're going to read off data from this grid um, as if it was rendered in real time. So here we want to add up all the capital expenditures for the first four quarters of the report. Remember when this report runs, it'll only run for a given year, in which case only the four quarters are relevant. We sum up the simple data points, as you can see there, and then apply a simple formatting of currency to that information, and then set it in. You can see the number here highlighted in green is already rendered as a value. Of course, this will change based on the given year, the given department that this is running for, and the number will change accordingly. We'll finish the example by also supplying now um, cash flows from net operations uh, using the exact same technique. This time, instead of reading the, uh, the values from net income.
If I zoom out, you can see we've added more text, general static text to our report, as if someone had written a lot of notes. And it's time now to run the report. Save the template. We hit the print button to do a quick preview of the report. We make our basic selections. In this case, we'll run 2018, the Northeast Division. Run it, and you can see it renders a PDF document at the bottom. If you look carefully, you can see we're running the 2018 Northeast Division report. You see the PL for that report. You can see the cash flow statement here with the dynamic text rendered for you for this division and this year, and finally the balance sheet. Although this is a somewhat simplistic report, it's a great example of how you can capture a lot of information with Pyramid and represent it in a beautiful publication. The last step is to automate this, and here we will attach a schedule to this report, which says please print it out as a PDF. Um, every time it runs, the selections are going to be for every department for the last year in the system. We're going to schedule it on a recurring basis to run this thing um, on a quarterly basis uh, in the first week of every month on a Monday. And last but not least, we want to automatically distribute it to the different users in the roles of the system. Save the button, and that's it. We now have an automated financial statement engine for the organization.